Welcome to another episode of God of War, Ragnarok. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. <laughs> okay, how do we go? I don't see the compass. The compass doesn't work. Let me see the compass real quick. Settings. Graphics. Oh. Hard here. Mm. Compass. Swipe. I do swipe. Am, am I swiping? What do you mean? Where's my compass at? Like, hmm, I know. Weird. Hey. Come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Yeah, nice home. Sorry for not being rich, Dad. Alright? Sorry. I try my best. God damn it. Finding everything alright, I hope? Yeah. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. <laughs> so, where exactly is Tyr being held? He is imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know, he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> If what is I that? Ain't giving a hound a haircut, huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger, notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. They talk too much, too, so I don't see any problem. You hear that? Oh, yeah, the orb is for the we'll door. Just need the bifrost and the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light. In your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard. <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh. That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release. Still unpleasant. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! 
Rassel got eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just need to adjust. <gasps> there. That should do it. Door to realms? See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first. <laughs> Case you takes a joke, you old goat. <laughs> The Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. <laughs> I also use this for light, man. Fuck! I'm night blind. I'm not gonna see shit now. Okay. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. To get to any of those realms, you'll need a seed for them. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir city. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Erlen's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. E everything. It's warm. No. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Uh, Careful, uh, lad. Ah! Uh, Need some. on the left why are these things so bad come on boy fight Get his ass, get his ass. Nista! I see we're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin. And never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. <sighs> oh my god, bro. I'm looking tired of the boat. If you never asked mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these yeah. are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. 
<laughs> we got a puzzle to do. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard, that water'd be frozen in the second. Brother, do you think freezing it would work? Oh. That's what it did. Where's the last one? Uh, uh, um, let's see, do I? That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. Um, I am looking, but I cannot see. I'm looking for R. to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Crave Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Brock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Apple. <laughs> All right, what now? Aye, good old Dwarven craftsmanship. Yep. Tyr was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. On your monkeys! Left. Monkeys! Oh. Oh. Bro. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Watch your left. All right, there's a chest. Yeah, I know that. Come on. Come on. That's being too much now. Prefer. I love to prefer my fist than my axe now, I don't know. Because my fists are low-key stronger. I mean faster, not strong. I like the I like the vibe of this place though. Unlike the enemies etc. I'm fine like um 
animals. I mean, with animals. Or against animals, oh my god. English left the chat, I guess. Alright, what is this? What is this? Alright, where did it go? Compass, why don't you work? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, we go here? Okay, there's gotta be some way to turn the wheel up here. Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Svartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Yes, sir. Oh. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Sparto Farm? Aye, lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. So why be here, man? What is this? It's like a gate or something? What is that? Another game, right, I'm fighting this time. I think it's time to give some skill points. Um, yeah, here. Skill points. So, uh, X, Atreus. Technique, range, melee. All right. I'd have that. Actually, I'm not gonna spend so much time on this. We can do this when I end the episode. I can do it and then I can start the episode. Because it's boring. I can I have to read all of it and, and it's so boring. So I'll do it when uh, I'm not recording it. What? I can just jump there. And then, oh, there we go, other way. Father, uh, up there. Oh, wait a minute. What's up? Oh. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> Another chest. I don't understand the, the tiers of the chests. Like some of them, most of them, different than others. And get over here. 
Find anything good up there? Yeah. Where are we supposed to go, boy? So we move on. Get over here, man. Good night. Oh, he's gonna jump. Nista! Tim, we do have to jump. <sighs> those things are ever. They cap those geysers. Hmm. <laughs> I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Wow, man, you're smart. You must be like going with a high tier school or something. I don't know. Are we, are we gonna drop the. Well, I don't know what to do now. Uh, I think we just continue. And we cannot really continue because there's a gate. Oh man, what the frick? I have no idea what the... The compass doesn't help either. Is it broken? Dwarven ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. What the hell? Am I dumb? Or am I gonna focus or something? Oh my god, I'm dumb. I mean, not dumb. Like, I thought I had to just keep it. Now I have to just throw this shit. And then go without axe. Oh my god, bro. 
I was like, what the fuck? I, I just saw it was opening and now it's closed. Do you really think Odin would honor his end of the deal? That if we keep our distance, he'll leave us alone? No. That does not mean I intend to fight him. Perhaps we find a new home where neither he nor Freya can trouble us. But once we find Tyr, he can help us fight. Fight? That's, uh, not what I meant. Obviously, we have so much to learn from Tyr. Any way he can help us is good, right? Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm? Yeah. I think we can do that, but... How do I... Stop it! I want to check, get the chest. Hmm, fuck it. Lot of silence. It, it could be so cool to explore in these places in real life. Vantage point. Somewhere we can attack it without it seeing us. Come on. Draw. Okay. Father, up there. Yep. <laughs> Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look! There's a chain we can pull up there. Mm, but how are we gonna go there? Disgusting. Think you can uncover that geyser from here? Oh, okay. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Uh, yo. Lock's coming down. There's still the other chain to pull, but how are we going to get to it? What do you mean, other chain? Is 
Is there something else we can hit? Oh, they brought that the shit out of it, man. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Hey, nice one. <laughs> Don't have to say it, man. I was going to do it anyway. Can you see anything from that block? Hey, what's That's that? one of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Why? Yeah, so, so I should steal them, Mimi. You, you called me a, a thief, huh? Let's go. Lad, if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Hi, Atreus. You might look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither for the young brothers. Hey, dwarves. Oh. They're uh running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body. And was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Don't run, guys. I'm friendly. Even though I killed so many innocent people in my past lives. When I was young, etc. You know. This one, I changed. Hey, I, have a, I have a song. Can we talk to we you for? Any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Yeah, definitely fear. Sindri, hello. I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Fiddle? What does that mean? Well, oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it going to be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things. Oh, in action. Ah. Whew. 
There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Am I aiming? The fuck, man. Yuffa. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in Neither Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? What your leg? What? The blood of the man. Okay, so, Derlin. <coughs> Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? A trail. This way. Best of luck. Thank you, dude. Seems like me, the Valir's locked down because of us. Mm. Outsiders are not welcome here. I imagine that large statue of Odin has something to do with it. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. But makes them pussy. The tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Maybe. <laughs> what a small home is so uh, cool. Let's just keep moving. Oh, I can freeze them on air. Could you maybe? No, thank you. <laughs> what is? What's this? We may need some special equipment to use this. Okay. Say so by. Oh, what's that? A firebomb from the chief anti odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp witch she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. The chest. Kind. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words, no nothing. Leave. What I'm gonna do? I'm working on something. Try this. Destroy people's place here, man. Not cool. This looks promising, right? 
Well, that's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree, and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Hmm, what have you done, dude? Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. What's that? It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Now we got a campus. Really? Hey, it doesn't work. What's this? Yo, we got a compass. Nice. Come. A boat cannot be far. What? Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. Yeah, this is great. We will end the episode. Alright, guys. Um, uh, we don't got much of actions in this episode, sadly. But it's normal. I mean, they have to feel... Some kind of like 20 hours gameplay to the game, uh, I guess, officially, they must. So they just put some kind of boring stuff around the game. So yeah, I hope we're gonna get some cutscenes and some boss fight uh, in the next episode. And I will see you guys in the next one then. Take care and peace out.